morning guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God today's video is a much requested video from you guys um, in the Facebook group as well as here on YouTube and Instagram um, and it's just all about how I stay organized with my Bible studies in all the book clubs and book readings that I do as well as how I schedule in that time um, and it's really not a grand thing when I say it's like the simplest thing ever it's the most simplest thing ever and it is simple as just using a to-do list um, in a planner that's pretty much how I keep myself organized now I'm not the best at you know sticking to my to-do list every single day some days are better than others some days I get half the list done some days I get one third of it done um, but I am gonna have a actual step-by-step -step video of showing you guys how I plan out a month in my planner but right now I'm just gonna share with you guys um, the different tools that I use, how I use them, and walk you guys through some of my planners. But there will be a part two in how I stay organized where I show you guys my planners like in depth with me walking through with you on how I plan. But um, I have my tea this morning and I am sipping on some amazing Earl Grey. But this is actually Lady Earl. This is Lady Grey tea actually. Um, from Twinings, and Twinings tea is really good. Um, it's basically an Earl Grey kind of tea with um, some citrus. Really nice tea. But, um, so, the first thing that I use, the, or the first, yeah, the first item that I use to keep myself organized um, and make sure that I'm scheduling in my stuff is my phone. And I use a specific app, and the app that I use is called Evernote. Um, and it's just an elephant kind of thing, but I use Evernote a lot. I, I use Evernote to write, jot down notes, um, video ideas, like everything. But um, I love to use Evernote, and I am going to show you guys how I use that. So let's flip the camera around quickly. Okay, guys, so here's my phone, and um, we're just going to open it up. And like I said, I use Evernote, which is this app here. And um, Evernote just looks like this is a note-taking app. I have so many ideas on here. It's ridiculous. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So um, I hit the little cross button, or the plus sign, sorry. And I hit text note. Or you can actually hit reminder. So I'm going to hit reminder first. And um, it says add reminder. So I'm going to say mark Bible study. and hit the calendar today is the 30th i'm um, no sorry today's the 29th so i'm gonna say the 29th and let's set that for what time is it it is 12 10 right now um so it's not even morning you guys i don't know why i said good morning but uh let's set that for like 109 okay eh, one o'clock let's let's set it for one o'clock i would set it for one o'clock p.m save and um set it's saving a note, so now it, it'll ring on my phone at that time. But um, if I wanted to schedule in a lot of other things, I would do it like this. Create a new note. Um, I would put today's date, so May 29th. Um, and there's an option to do checklist, so I would click that. And um, I would write Mark Bible Study. Clearly, I'm not typing this properly. <laughs> but Mike, Mark Bible Study... Um, Watch Grace Like a Flood 2, um, and that's basically a sermon from Transformation Church that Michael Todd is currently doing. Um, I'm saying 2 because it would be the second um, part to that series that I'd be watching. Um, devotional, sorry, my arm was rubbing on the table. Um, devotional time, I would put Bible app. Devos because I do have I do devotionals um in physical books as well as on the Bible app so that's pretty much it would be my to do list um I would hit the check button and then there you go and um as you get the items done you would just click on it and it'll check it off so that's pretty much one of the apps that I use okay so um like I showed you guys I use Evernote and there's another one called Wonderless, but I've been sticking with Evernote because I can sync it to my computer with the Evernote app on my computer. Um, so that's that. Another thing that I like to use is um, 
notepads now this notepad is not a really a to it's, it's a to-do list but not like my daily to-do list this is just a list of video ideas from you guys um on youtube and instagram and from the group so i just have all of my ideas but with that is you would get a notepad like a, you can get a cute notepad to make it fun um get a notepad and write your to-dos down the night before um and then stick it wherever you're gonna wake up to in the morning so for me i like to come to my desk early in the morning so i would have my to-do list with everything that needs to get done right on top of my laptop so that way before i open my laptop i could have that or if you have your own bathroom and that's where you go first thing in the morning um stick it on your mirror in the bathroom so that you know or on your tv in your room the mirror in your room you know stick it somewhere you can do sticky notes or to-do list i just prefer to-do list pads um but sticky notes work just as fine if you don't have like a major list of things to do so that's what i use i also use a dry erase board and i have a really large one but here's mine for today and i've gotten some of the things done already like um upload my made book haul part one which i did edit part two which i did um, mark chapter 1 Bible study, read chapters 26 and 27 of Battle Plan for Prayer, also do section, session 6 video study as well as um, days 1 and 2 for week 6, and um, other things like that. So, I keep this literally right by my table. I have, okay, so I have three tables in my room minus my desk that you guys seen. And um, I keep everything next to each other. So I keep that to-do list right over there because the table I'm at right now is where I put my laptop. So I have that there with um, markers, dry erase markers so that I can check off and write down things that need to be written down. Or if I get a phone call and don't have paper, I can write things immediately right there. So the first thing is my phone that I use um, using the Evernote or just using your plain old calendar app. Um, the second item I would use is a to-do list or sticky note. The third one is a dry erase board. And then the fourth and final thing that I use is a planner. Now, there are multiple type of planners out there. You can get um, high-end planners like Erin Condren, Day Designer, Happy Planner, which is like a mid-end planner. You can get blue sky planners from like Target, um, little 99 cent store planners. You can get a planner in a weekly view, hourly view, daily view. You can get it in a horizontal style or a vertical. I mean, the list can go on on the different type of planners you can have. And I've had them all. I've had Erin Condren planners, Happy planners. I've had um, the Day Designer planners. I've had Color Crush planners. I've had all types of planners. And um, I've come to find out that I prefer a daily planner with an hourly view um, in it. And I'm going to show you guys the planners that I've been using and the two new planners that I will be using for the rest of the year come July. So the first planner I have is this one. I've hauled this before. This is a weekly planner from Our Daily Bread. Um, they had it on their store site, but you can now get it from the Discovery House Publishing website. And um, it's just a yearly planner from January to December. And it's nice. It's just not a lot of space for me and my liking. And um, initially, I was using it just for like Daughter of Increase. But um, it's just not a lot of space for me. I like I like space to write. And it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But um, I do like that at the back of it, there is a reading plan that's four pages long. And also some notes section. So I do like this planner. I'll, I'm going to flip the camera around towards the end to show you guys each planner. But, um, you know, I stepped away from that planner. Um, and the next planner I have is the Day Designer planner, but it's their more affordable planners. Um, now, Day Designer can get as expensive as Erin Condren up to the $60, $70, $80 range, maybe even $100. Um, but I prefer their inexpensive ones, um, which they you can find at Target or Stables. Now, Day Designer and Blue Sky collaborated to make a Target kind of special line. And this is one of those planners that I got from them. And this is my second one, actually. I've had their weekly views, um, and then I've had the daily. I, this is my second daily. The first one I had was the Gold Spotty. Um, I liked it, but I hated the inside of it, so I got this one, which is the black stripe one um, for this year, and it just has the gold foil on it. They come with frosted covers and everything, and these planners are phenomenal. Let me find a month where I didn't plan. <laughs> um, so here's December. That's what the monthly spread looks like. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, and then the daily looks like this, where you get your hourly section, but it's in 30-minute increments from 6 to 8 p.m. 
um, and then your weekends look like that. And um, I'm going to flip the camera around, like I said. But I prefer this because I can actually schedule in time slots. And I love to do things by time. Um, and I do things by 30 minutes. So this planner works for me. So um, this planner is almost done. This was from July 2017 to June 2018. They have academic planners, which I prefer because it works with my sibling school year as well as my son now that he's in school. Um, and that's just how my mind works um, with the academic planners. But they do have regular yearly planners that go from um, June, I mean January to December. I just prefer the academic. So this does end in June next month. So um, I had told myself I wasn't going to go back to this planner just because I wasn't planning as much as I preferred to. Um, I used to be like a heavy planner when I was pregnant with my son and when he was like a newborn. But um, there's not many activities that we do now, so I don't really do much because I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom and um, I work every now and then. But um, with work picking back up and my son now going into kindergarten and having to do a lot of things to make sure he's prepared for kindergarten next year. Um, and just really working on things for myself, I figured I would go back to this type of planner. So when I was at Staples, I actually saw that the day designer had a line there, but it's not the day designer blue sky um, line. I guess day designer has like their separate line specifically for Staples. Um, so I got this one and this is the daily monthly. As you guys can see, this goes from July 2018 to June 2019. And this design is the blue, let me see what it is. It's called the Deep Blue Spotty. These are 8x10, so it's the same planner as this one. Um, just, I love the different additions to this because this one comes with a ruler. It comes with a double-sided pocket folder. It comes with gold stickers. And um, I don't know, there's something about this one that I prefer. So I think I would prefer to buy mine from Staples now instead of Target. Um, but I'll leave links to where you can get them from. But those are that. And um, then I had another planner that I was going to use, but funny story. So, I went to Michael's the other day for Memorial Day weekend um, and took my mom and my two sisters. And, you know, we got we got um, journals. And I can show you guys my journals quickly. So, we all picked up journals because they had journals on sale for $5 each. Um, so, I had picked up this one here. And then I picked up this one, which says, Leave Your Fears Behind. Actually, me, my mom, and my sister got the same journal. Um, and they're just really nice quality journals. They're floppy. They come with little ribbons. They were $5 a piece, and I'm not sure how much they are originally. But um, they were really nice and cute, so I took them, and we all got them. And while I was there, I also picked up these little tabs here and some stickers. So some Faith stickers from Recollections, right? I picked up two packs of that, actually, because I'm obsessed with Faith stickers. But, um, so my sister decided she didn't want a journal. And when we was walking past the section, because I was looking for the sticker section, because the Michaels that I went to, they switched their area around. Um, so I was looking through, and we walked past the section with the Happy Planner stickers. And, um, they had these planners for Doorbuster for $10, you guys. And it was the Recollection Planners as well as the Happy Planners. And um, my sister decided because it was ten dollars, I told everybody I would spend ten dollars on them. So um, you know, everybody got two journals, and my sister decided instead of two journals, she wanted the planner. So I told her, fine. Um, the planner she picked was over the top. It was the Recollections one with the unicorn on it, and then the little glittery stuff in it. I don't know if you guys seen it before, but um, it was cute. But I know my sister, the unicorn, the little glittery pouch would have been ripped. Um, and she doesn't use planners. Um, consistently so I saw that she grabbed this planner and the only thing that I noticed was that it was undated there are no dates in this planner so I immediately said okay that's a planner you need because it's a planner that um, you can use any time of the year whether you skip a month or not and I think planners like that um, are very useful so it wasn't until we got in the car and pulled off that we realized it was a faith planner um so i had another planner um that i had picked up from walmart it was a mint green planner it was a really cute like really girly planner it was really nice and that was going to be my faith planner and i had already filled out the month of july um just the, the month of july like with the stickers and stuff that i was going to use and i told her we could switch when we got home she looked at the planner liked it so we switched planners um, so I ended up getting the faith planner, which works out because I wanted a faith planner. I just didn't want to spend the money on it because the recollection planners are $30 and the one from Happy Planner is also $30. And then I wanted to get the other ones that come in the binder from recollections, 
but I don't know. Binder style planners are just not for me anymore. Um, I've had the color crush. I enjoyed it, but I'm over it now. So I was excited for this one. And um, this is a Faith Spiral Planner. It's a 7.5 by 9.25. And um, this is literally a Faith Planner, you guys. I'm going to show you guys. It says Faith Spiral Planner. And it comes with some stickers, pocket folder, and a zip pocket. Um, you have just a lot of things in here. And... The reason why it is a faith planner is the cover says faith, blessed, love, peace. And it's holographic, which I think is so dope. Um, on this side, it says full of faith. Rejoice and worship, which is an 18-month planner. And then it, you get these, like, scripture reading chart sections. You get, like, four columns of that. And then before every month, you get... A notes and thoughts and then a prayer request and um then you have your monthly views um and i showed you guys what the monthly views look like already but um this tab says forgiven and forsaken um forgiven and not forsaken sorry um but not every month every tab has a um a scripture on it but what i liked is the weekly view um because i can use this for scripture writing or verse mapping so here it is you have your day up here you would put the like the week timing the actual date there then it has your daily verse scripture study observation if you prayed today or not um and then you have this section for to what does it say this week i'm grateful for a uh, empty box you have another empty box and then here you have self-improvement and then this one says goals and i think you can use this for like goals or weekly habits that you want to do um such as like uh, making sure that you do if you want to do like a word study once a week or if you want to make sure you're Bible studying every day, devotion, doing your devotionals every day, praying, prayer journaling every day, or something like that. I really like the way it was set up. So um, I can't wait to use this. And I have already set up the month. But I'm going to show you guys that. Because right now I am going to get ready to flip the camera around. But um, again, that's just really the items that I use. A planner, my cell phone, using Evernote, um, to-do list pads, as well as a dry erase board. The main thing about using those items is make it fun for yourself. Make it something you enjoy doing because it can get tedious. Um, and you don't always have to make it fun. There are some days, but you'll see in the planner, where I don't go all out with stickers. Some days I won't even use washi tape. Some days I just use pen. Um, I love using stickers. Um, I'm a sticker fanatic. I prefer the Happy Planner stickers. So I have like their Faith sticker pack. I have two packs of these. I just picked up two packs of the Recollections Faith stickers. Um, I also want to get my hands on the Faith stickers from Happy Planner that like are in the mini edition. Then I have like other sticker packs from Happy Planner because Happy Planner stickers are just amazing. But, um, you know, make it fun. Use stickers, use washi tapes, use colorful pens, color code in your planner if you want. You can do anything that you want to do, you guys, in your planner. Like, it is yours. Make it your own. But um, make sure that you're enjoying planning out. And organizing your day i love stuff like that i have to stay organized because i get easily distracted seriously when i'm in a house i get easily distracted but um those are really pretty much it how i stay organized so let's flip the camera around and show you guys the different planners and how i use them okay guys so here is the our daily bread yearly planner and um it's just a nice simple planner it has poppy designs on it with the scripture matthew 6 28 why do you worry see how the flowers of the field grow um and pretty much let me get you a monthly view here's a monthly view of the planner um it's just a two-page monthly thing no lines in the boxes which i like it has important holidays as usual um but it does come with different scriptures what i which i like a note section here and then your weekly spread looks like this where you have a shopping list and then a to-do list over there um my only gripe is that it wasn't enough space for me so let me see if I can show you guys the first month um, that I use it. So I use it in January, and here it is. Um, it's gonna be hard to quite to kind of see it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see it. I'm sorry because I'm not using my large tripod. I'm just using the tripod on my um, table. But um, I use this at the beginning of the year because my church did a 21 day consecration or 21 day fast. Um, and it every day had a scripture to it. So I was writing down the scriptures that I needed to read for the day when I had to dance because I dance every third Sunday at my church, which is pastoral Sundays. 
Um, and then like notes here of like if I wanted to do prayer journaling or if I wanted to drink a lot of water. Things that I wanted to record and then to-do lists that I needed to get done that were all spiritual, faith-related um, things. That's how I was using it. And then here was the weekly kind of view with check boxes and writing down what needed to be done. Um, so I was doing the Goliath, Goliath Must Fall. Um, the fast, I was writing out the scriptures and writing my thoughts. I was studying Proverbs and Psalms and stuff, doing my devotional. So you guys can see, that's pretty much how I was using it, but I stopped for some time. Um, February, I didn't really do much in it. As you guys can see, like, I prepped it, but I don't know. I like it, but, um, I think this is one of those planners you use for your kid. March, there really wasn't nothing. I just put down when the giveaway ended and when book club started. And then for April, I just had schedules for, like, people that I was, um, doing one-on-one -on -one studies with. Um, but, like I said, in the back, I did like the back because there were four pages of a reading schedule for every day of the month. Um, so, day of the year, sorry. Then you had some note paper in the back. And, um, you know, then you had your important context and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I didn't really care to continue using this planner. Um, as much as I enjoyed it, um, for my liking and what I do, I didn't find it extremely useful. And I found that I was still using sticky notes and stuff like that. So, that's that one. Then we have my glorious, glorious day designer. And I'm going to show you guys the one that I'm currently using right now. Ugh, if I can get this in here. So here's a day designer. Um, like I said, it's July 2017 to June 2018. And you guys can see right here, it says day designer for blue sky. And then it's the black stripe 8x10. And I guess December. Here is how the monthly was set up, which you really can't see on the camera. Let me see. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it, but there's no way for you to be able to see this um, the best way possible without my tripod, my other tripod. But um, pretty much this was how it was set up. I just didn't care for the lines in the month um, because I didn't always like to use the lines. Flags for specific holidays. On this side, you had your to-do and notes section with check boxes, and then you had your month before and after down here. And then that's pretty much how the month looked. And then your daily looked like this. So Monday through Fridays had their own day um, with a schedule here, which went from 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., but it was in 30 minute increments. Then you had your top three that you needed to get do done, your other to do's down here, a tonight section, your gratitude, your notes, and then like a quote or something it would be a quote or scripture and then your weekends friday and saturday um saturday and sunday sorry were together so you would get the weekend here a box to do fun things for that weekend a weekly gratitude again a quote you would have your schedule for saturday and an hourly section and then as well as for sunday on the section here for hourlies um but with this you could always hide this with washi tape and use stickers to do check boxes if you wanted to you had a next week and then a don't forget section so I think I said I wanted to show you March. Yes. So here is March. And this is how I used to plan with like the stickers and stuff. And I'm going to go back to that. Um, and I actually did all of this. Just never checked it off. Um, but, um, you know, my, my to-dos here. I said that um, I wanted to buy a pencil organizer, which I did. Buy the battle plan for prayer book and study, which I did. I used washi tape to block off the, the dates of the month that weren't there. Um, and then like. This is when I started Fervent, so I had this little book here from the Happy Planner. I think all these were Happy Planner stickers, um, minus these here, where I would put down certain things. So, like, I was going to Bible study that day at church in New York. Um, Mondays were days that we did uh, the Fervent Book Club. Again, the third Sunday of the month, I had me dancing. I chose to put this sticker here, Choose Kindness. I had videos that I wanted to record, which I think I recorded all of these, except for the prayer journal one and the Thompson Chain reference. Um, then I had the Ruth Bible study that I was teaching um, or leading with you guys. I don't want to say teaching and other things like when my son had stuff out. And then I also was attending the School of Prayer. So I had those dates that um, needed to be filled out for that 
be in my planner. And I don't know if I have a month. Let me go back to January. Let's see. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> If I could find one that was filled out in the weekly section with my Bible studies and stuff that I was doing. Um, okay, so let's just go here. Um, this was October 2nd, 2017, and um, this was how I had it set. So, the top three, I had Psalm 41 and Luke 6 because that's what I wanted to get done for sure. Um, then I had things that I wanted to do in the blog and Bible studies and stuff like that, washing and dishes and stuff. I, re I really wasn't utilizing the schedule just because um, I was more so using the notes and everything on this side. Um, I put that my son had <laughs> pooped in the toilet because that's when he finally got his life together and did it in the toilet. Um, and then when I had got the Inspire Proverbs, now it says ordered, but I didn't pay for it. Um, it was through a program, which is the Tinder Rewards program that I was a part of, which I've mentioned. Um, so that's when I had placed that order in for them. I like to keep track because their shipping is a little crazy. Um, so let's flip ahead to, um, I'm trying to find a day where I know I completed things. So... Okay, here we go. This was the seventh. Um, so I had that my son was in school when I wanted to record um, the top three things that I wanted to do. So like record my bookshelf tour and then render the Esther chapter three study. Um, then the things that I had to do, such as the Bible app devotionals, I wanted to respond to YouTube comments. Um, I wanted to update the battle plan document on the Facebook group and then read chapters 10 and 11, do the Bible study sessions, upload Esther 3, edit Esther 4, and then render it. Um, and that's basically how I do it. And a lot of the things are things that I do every day. And it can get repetitive when I'm writing down, write, you know, devotionals and Bible app. Like, I write it down consistently. Like, here is the 22nd, um, you know. I had cook and make lunch, which I did at 6.30 in the morning. Had my son in school. I didn't really write any other things down on that, um, but I plan to. Um, top three was to do Mark 1. Um, I didn't finish all of Mark 1 that day. I didn't even start it. I didn't start it till Wednesday, if you guys can see here. But um, I had the video ideas that I wanted to get done because I wanted to record a video. I had to upload the book that I wanted to read, my, call my dentist, Amazon order, um, and things like that. So, you know. That's how I pretty much keep track. You guys, is nothing insane um, at all. And here is the new one that I'll be using come July. Um, but let me show you guys the difference, if you guys will see. When you open this, this just says Day Designer. It does not say for Blue Sky. And I did find this at um, Staples. So I think this is a specific kind of like Staples planner that they are coming out with and what I love is that these now include a ruler from day designer and gold foil stickers which I love you get two sheets of that and then you get um, a double-sided pocket folder and you know you get gold setting sheets which I'll do a, a video on for that but um only thing I did in here was put down two birthday stickers because my little brothers, their birthdays are both in July. Um, my brother will be turning 17. My other one is going to be turning 24. I put this gold, I'm sorry, this silver foil sticker here because this will make five years of my fiance and I being engaged because he asked me to marry him July 7th, 2013. Um, or was it 2014? 2013. No, 2014. <laughs> Because it was right before I had our son. Right? I don't even remember. It was 2013 or 2014, you guys. Pay me no mind. But I put that sticker there because we did get engaged that day. Um, and then I, like, put a little bit of stickers in here. But, you know, same setup as the other planner, basically. But I will show you guys in depth how I plan out the month with my studies. Then, quickly showing you guys this one. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my god. So, it is the Recollections Creative Year Planner. It's the Faith Spiral Planner. It was $29.99, and um, it tells you the measurements and stuff like that. It just says, Faith, Blessed, Love, Peace. 
full of faith rejoice and worship 18 month planner you put your name i didn't write my name yet um and here's what i was saying with the scripture reading chart so like if i decide to do a reading plan i can write my dates um like the date in the scripture that i read if i wanted to and you get four columns of that so two per page and they have little check boxes um and what i like is that the font in here is gray not black so then you have your notes and thoughts here, and then your prayer and requests, if you guys can see this pink section here, prayer requests here. So this would be the first month, and I just put a sticker for July, because that's when I'm going to start utilizing this, and it just forgive. It says forgiven and not forsaken. And here's the monthly view of how I set it up. I just have to actually put the July sticker. I don't know where I want to put it, though. Um, but... Sorry if you guys hear the planes and stuff outside, but I have everything scheduled in for what I'm going to be doing. And then again, this is the weekly view, which I'm going to figure out how to use this. But um, going to the back of the planner. Going to the back of the planner. You have stickers. So you have your big old monthly flags, obviously, because they're undated. <laughs> you have your smaller little like flag stickers, which I think are so cute. You have the cross, way to go, you are great, believe, stand still, stand tall, I mean. Um, and they're just really, really cute. You have habit trackers here. Um, and I really just can't wait to use these. Then you have some of these which say scripture study. These are blank. Pray for stickers, church activity, don't forget, um, service projects, choir practice, felt inspired, and I don't sing in the choir or the praise and worship team, but I can use these for dance ministry if when we have to start having rehearsals. Um, and then these are the stickers for the little um, tabs since they're undated and unmarked. So I just took off the July, like I said. And then you just have prayer requests. These little stickers here and more habit trackers. So that's that. Two double uh, a double sided pocket folder which says you can shine like the sun. And sun as in like the son of God. <laughs> Sorry. And then it comes with a little pocket ziplock thing here, which I'm actually gonna stick some of my stickers in here. And then the back just says, follow his lead with this pretty floral. And that's the planner. Faith can move mountains. And um, here's what it looks like on the inside so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see that better. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. If you really want to see a more in-depth video, just thumbs this video up or let me know down below. Like I said, there will be a part two because I'm going to show you guys how I use this and also how I plan out my daily section as well as the monthly section in my planner. So stay tuned for that. But um, other than that, that is it for this video. And I thank you guys for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.